Good day everybody and welcome to this channel once more again. Please when watching this video don't forget to like this video and please don't forget you know to subscribe to the channel. I just want to bless everybody for a good day. Thanks once more again for watching this channel and for tuning in. Uh, this is Jackson Genda once more again. I'm a targeted individual for the past 20 years from Namibia. Uh, I'm still on the topic of uh, these uh, perpetrators and you know the methods you know they use in order to harass and exploit their victim. Uh, like in my case you know, in some other instances, because I have also talked to some other Thai TIs, you know, from other places or from other countries in the world, uh, they have told me, and you know, I have also listened and heard that you know the agendas of those perpetrators, you know, behind the torturing and the harassment. As for me, you know, the thing that is driving these people, these crazy people. You know, to do, to do this funny thing to me that I will find out that it's arrogance, ignorance, and you know, stupidity. And most of these people, they have got limited education. So, which means that you know, it's so difficult for them, you know, to really come into terms, you know, you know, with the life of today and whatever governs. It's, you find that. He, most of these people, they don't know nothing about human rights at all. Nothing. You see, as you know, limited education also sees limited knowledge. So, in fact, uh, in some other hands, you know, I'm at the, at the mercy of these idiots, you know, who are perpetrating and doing this evil thing to me. Uh, they have caused me a lot of harm in my life mostly economically you know socially and also uh, relig uh, uh, religion so in all these areas you know they have seen that you know i am completely distorted or destroyed especially when you come to economic because since they bullied me out of my job 17 years ago I haven't worked again since then so which means even the way I live I just rely on handout from good Samaritans or family members you know who give me you know some little they can give me to buy food and everything as you can see me I'm not working and I'm now 47 years old I'm getting old these guys they are still holding, you know, my life at hostage because of this arrogance that I can I cannot understand or even explain. Uh, you know, 20 years ago I was working at sea, as a sea-going officer. Then, you know, every crime have got a motive. So the motive for this crime this torture for them or what they, what they, they this foolish thing they always tell in my ears is that you know these people they accuse me that uh, I staged a stunt you know I did something of rudeness or indecent in public in order to get fame house you know that's why they are harassing me you know it is something that I don't even understand that I'm not even able to share with anyone because of the, uh, because of the uh, of the uh, situation, or because of the you know, the the the, the, the situation of of of, of that of that thing, you know, it is so so personal and so indecent. You cannot even discuss it with your girlfriend, you or your your wife. It's very personal. And very insulting. So this is the motive that they use in order, you know, to destroy my life. This is the thing that they use their motive to have destroyed, you know, my future and uh, and everything. 
uh, even when I'm talking to you right now, I have got I'm 47 years old, but I have got no, nothing, nothing to show my age. All oh, my peers, all oh, I my age men have left me. They are now some buds in the community. You know, I'm still struggling. I'm still there, and they see that I'm distracted. You understand? You see. So, which means, as I was working at sea, you see, the sea is not a normal environment. It's an abnormal environment, a harsh environment, whereby it's very dangerous. So that situation, that abnormal condition and dangerous condition, you know, can affect uh, somebody psychologically. That's why there is a need that if you work into such environments, you know, whereby your mind is or your mental is, you are mentally stressed all the time by the environment. So you need the, the employer has to do something order to limit the possibilities you know, of you to suffer from some certain mental disorder that can cause harm to you, you know, that can even cause some kind of some disgrace in your life, and which can even attract things uh, that can destroy your life, like in my case. So for these people, when they go to this case, it's like they used my case, which is so innocent, you know, to fight something evil in the community without my consent. They are broadcast, they are illegally broadcasting wherever I go. Their voices are audible. Even in babies, they can hear what they are talking. They are busy misinforming the people. You see, I was working for the government under the Ministry of Fisheries at sea, at a sea going inspector. I was living a honest life, you know. I was not doing anything indecent, like maybe getting involved in pornography or getting involved in those unethical ways of living. I was not stealing from everybody, from anyone. I was not involved in any robbery. I was not drug trafficking. I was not even involved in human trafficking. But they saw it that I deserve this ill treatment. So their job now is you know, to misinform everybody that I was maybe involved in this kind of activity. That's why I deserve this kind of ill treatment. I was working for the government under the Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources as a seagoing inspector in vessels. So most of the trip lasted for one, two or three months at sea, whereby you are cut out from the rest of the world. You know, it's only you and those people you find there. You are taken away from your families, from everything that is normal. So these people, when you come back, they expect you, you know, to behave as normal as everybody. So in fact, whenever they are talking or when they are insulting me or defaming me, they don't mention that that I was working for the government, that I was a seagoing inspector, no. But what they want you know, to put in people's mind is that maybe I was doing bad things like pornography, like working maybe in Brussels, doing those things. That's why they are targeting me. That's why they are harassing me, which is not true. They are not saying the truth. So as for me, I'm looking for justice. You know, I want to sue these people for damages, for defaming me, for loss of income, because for the past 20 years, I've never done anything for myself because of this problem. For the past 20 years, I've never even seen anybody because I can't, because they are there to misinform everybody. To tell everyone, everybody, even before I meet somebody, they tell these people lies. As I've told you earlier in the other video, that they want to erase my legacy, my history. That if you are a good person, you become a bad person all of a sudden. Now, what I'm telling you is that, uh, do you know farmers? Huh? A farmer. 
like for instance a farmer now that farmer maybe it's because of they get desperate they want to be known in the community they go out there to slaughter their sheep so this farmer goes out there to slaughter his sheep and then he puts that sheep he covers it with the you know the hide of a lion and then he puts a weight that he has killed a lion that was troubling you know the river step the livestock in the society or in the community then everybody else will be so happy and that farmer will be you know praised that he is a hero but it's not true he didn't kill the lion the lion is still out there roaming no he's still a threat to the livestock so what i'm trying to say is that you know these idiots these motherfuckers you know you know they have taken my my innocent case they have used it to fight something bad indecent in the community and in the process of doing so they have destroyed my life they have defamed me that's why i want justice that's why i want to sue these bastards to take them to court you know to prove to the people that they are misinforming the people they are lying to the people you know i deserve the respect in the society i don't deserve this thing i was not involved in human trafficking i was not involved in prostitution cartels no i was living a honest life this is what i want this is this is what i want i want you know these motherfuckers these bastards you know to tell the people the truth you understand so i need justice that's all i need so you know sorry for those words that i have used but you know it's, it's something that you when you you know you 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 you, 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 are, you are tormented you know you can use all those words so i'm sorry for this. thank you for you know thank you for watching you know thank you for your for for, for, for your support and stuff you know you like this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, some videos are still coming so i'll be right back with you bye